Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Boogie Blog here, and I have my review of the Inky List from Sephora for you. These are the products I've tried. I've got two serums, two moisturizers, actually a few, couple serums. So I have about six items from the line. I am going to share with you my reaction and just sort of my impressions of them. Um, I am always interested in affordable skincare, but also skincare that has very little ingredients in terms of fragrance, alcohol, um, denatured alcohol, and like botanical oils and extracts. And, um, and this seems to do that. There's one or two products I avoided because of maybe something in them was, seemed problematic. Um, but other than that, there are a lot of items in this line that have just kind of the bare essentials of what you need and are so affordable. So let's begin. This um, Q10 is their serum and it's $6.99. Is that crazy? So Q10 is short for you ubiquinone, ubiquinone, what's it called again? Yeah, ubiquinone. Uh, so you've heard of Q10. It's in everything in terms of like body lotion and um, isn't it even in a vitamin? Sort of the idea is to kind of offset environmental damage and to kind of give your skin a, a youthful sort of memory jog to kind of act the way it's supposed to act. Um, this serum, the packaging is the most basic, which God bless, thank you. We're not paying for premium packaging. We're not wasting anything. I love it. So you get an ounce and it is opaque. We love that. We want things that are opaque and so sunlight can't damage them. Um, we want them with uh, dispensers that don't require putting your fingers in them. So I'm happy. All right. Now granted, there's other skincare items out there I may be reviewing for you soon or I have reviewed in the past that don't necessarily fit that requirement of like, you know, airtight and, um, opaque and it doesn't mean I don't like them. I'm just saying that this is the pro. If you want to look at pros and cons and what makes this great because it's so affordable but also because it's smart in that way. So here is the serum for the Q10. It has kind of a yellowish tint. It's kind of got like a gel cream texture. I use this in the morning. Um, I basically use all these items in my morning routine and I rotate them. I've incorporated other items from other brands and I do have a nighttime routine that I will share with you guys soon. I will be doing a video on that soon because it's a, um, it's a partnership I'm working with. Um, anyway, uh, but love this stuff. So there's that. It has a slip to it. It good to, you can wear this first and then put on other um, serums or um, boosters on top of it or moisturizers on top of it. But, you know, this is supposed to do, there's no scent, this is supposed to be that, like, here we go, you know, got my Q10 serum This one going. is a little more expensive, not even though, it's $10.99, <laughs> still around $10. Um, it's Collagen Booster, it's, it's good. Here, let me share with you. Collagen is basically peptides working together to plump your skin and create a muscle memory for all those cells, right? In, okay, so along with peptides in this serum, you get the hyaluronic acid. So it's the so it's mixed with sodium hyaluronate, glycerin, and propanodiol, sounds like I'm taking a sleeping pill, and butylene glycol. Those are like the trifecta of slip agents to give the skin moisture, binding, everything feels good on it. This has that slip you want. So 
Same bottle as the one before in terms of packaging. Um, one ounce. Let me show you what it looks like. So it is clear. It looks like a hyaluronic acid serum and it's a booster. So I've used it with other stuff. It doesn't have a lot of antioxidants in it and it doesn't have like a lot of sort of fatty barrier ingredients that are gonna just like use it on its own. But see, that's just it for me. I look at it as a booster. So I use it with in conjunction with the other items in the line or even some of my oils and other stuff I have. So I am fine with that. I can't tell you, I will say this, I don't have any like clinical results here for you. I don't have something that says, look at my skin six weeks ago, here you go, it's better. No, I didn't do that. I've had these products, some of them for a couple months, some of them for just a couple weeks. And I'm just giving you sort of the way it feels on me in layman's terms of how I've enjoyed them in my routine, how they're comfortable on my skin, how I think my skin looks pretty good. You guys say my skin looks good. So whatever I'm doing, I'm happy with. Okay, are we good? Good. Speaking of moisturizers that I use to build up these products, these other kind of already here, let's go. Ooh, one more serum, which this always throws me off. Polyglutamic acid serum. Have you guys heard about this? This is the, here's how it's, it's, it reads. So, right? Okay, that was upside down. Lovely. Okay, polyglutamic, I think. Acid serum is supposed to be the cousin of hyaluronic acid that's 10 times better. The point is that this can be more of a powerhouse than hyaluronic acid. However, I guess there's been some reviews in terms of kind of um, expert opinion that Inky List doesn't list the dosage of how much is in here. So is it a concentration enough on its own that surpasses the effects of hyaluronic acid? Or is there only a nominal amount in here if that makes it just as good? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I can tell you this, it's in an airtight pump, love it. It comes out looking just like hyaluronic acid. I mix this again with other stuff because it's basically giving more moisture, helping my skin hold moisture. That's what I want. I am just a desert hoping for a well to come to town and set up tent shop. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know. There's other kind of silicones and glycerins in this product. It makes it really slippery and I like it. I, I don't know if it's like, oh, look, my face looks more plump with this than I, when I use hyaluronic acid. I've also been loving the youth skin, um, youth skincare, their hyaluronic acid. It's just straight up amazing. So I've been using a ton of hyaluronic acids. Don't know, don't know, don't know which is, you know, better or worse, so there you go. Um, okay, but then back to moisturizers and what I've been using in terms of layering products before I put like sunscreen on or anything else. Um, this hemp moisturizer is awesome. It is one ounce. It looks like you're getting this tiny tube. Don't be fooled. Look at all your other skincare of different sizes, different price points, different fanciness, and you'll see they're all an ounce. This just looks like it's a travel size. So in a way, I'm kind of excited. I love it. All of this stuff is so easy to travel with. It's not bulky. So thank you. Um, hemp is kind of a buzzword right now. Um, hemp is definitely an ingredient we're seeing in everything from vitamins, food, pet supplies. Um, it's CBD, you know, hemp and CBD are kind of the same. Um, but let's see here. Cool thing about hemp is that it's very sustainable. Hemp is so easy to grow. We should be using hemp more than we do in our country instead of relying on, you know, cotton and paper and things like that, wood, 
whatever, but that's another story. Hemp is a great form of fatty acid for your skin. So when you want a moisturizer to kind of keep everything in, to keep that layer of just moisture on your skin so that ingredients don't evaporate, water doesn't evaporate, yeah, that's what you want, right? And so it's fragrance free, it's alcohol free, it is, how much is it? Um, it's $12.99. So I find that funny that the hemp moisturizer is actually so far the more expensive item. But um, it's great. I mean, it's, for me, I just like the fact that it's good for sensitive skin. It's something I can put on my face when I don't want anything else that's reactive. When I want lotion and I, like, I feel like I've been doing so much stuff like, oh, I threw in this peptide and oh, I'm wearing this niacinamide or oh, I've been using this azelaic acid or whatever it is. You know, I'm just throwing stuff at my face. And then I'm like, but what am I going to do to just like keep my skin kind of moist and supple and not get dry? And this hemp moisturizer does it for me. So I dig it. I really do. I dig it. Okay, next is the multibiotic moisturizer. Again, one ounce. This is in their other kind of pump that is the airtight. Woo! This one, this one's different. This one is a little runny. See that? Let me get the... This one's also $12.99. Um, let's see here. Okay, so... So here's multibiotic. Here's the other funny thing about buzzwords is probiotics are everywhere. Now it's in our skincare. Yeah. I've been using probiotics as a dietary supplement for about 10 years now before they were a thing. I found them out before I went dairy free because I was having so much gut issue and I stumbled across some at like Whole Foods and I'm like, what are these? And you know, they were telling me about it because my mom used to feed me acidophilus milk when I was a kid. And the problem with that though, is if you are allergic to dairy, you're not really getting the benefits of acidophilus because your stomach is in a constant churn of upset. Anyway, so probiotics, what's in here? What is their multibiotic in this formula is yogurt powder. Now, according to Beautypedia, they think that the yogurt powder isn't as robust as maybe some other probiotic forms you could use. I don't know, whatever. I mean, what is it supposed to do? Um, it's supposed to soothe the skin, it's supposed to provide moisture retention, and it's supposed to help the skin surface be stronger. To keep it pH balanced so that it keeps good bacteria in and bad bacteria out. I guess that even happens on your skin as well as in your gut. Your skin is an organ, makes sense, fine, okay. Here's the only thing you might not like about this. It smells a little bit like sour milk, just a touch, like kind of sour cream. It's just a little different. <laughs> so yeah, I put this on and I go, Okay, it's weird. It's not bad, it's not rancid, it's just tangy. And this is the one, I just got the caffeine eye serum. I think this is great because it's a half ounce, it comes in this tube, $9.99. I've been using so many eye creams. In fact, the latest one that I put in my July favorites is the retinol eye cream from the Youth Skincare line. I love that stuff, but I use it at night. So this has been something I use in the day, and it's nice, you know? It's, I like the packaging. I like that it's just this nice, firm kind of lotion that you can just dab on. Um, I use it, I massage it under my eye area in the morning before I use like my Revive Light, before I put on sunscreen, and it's nice. My eye area looks like fresh and great. So I, you know, I think it does a good job. There you go. It also has like the jojoba esters and it has other kind of things that keep it emollient. So it's an overall good product. If you feel like you want to add it, yay. So there you guys are. That's my The Inky List and the products. I like all of the things I've bought so far. Um, I might get the turmeric 
lotion. We'll see. I've got some retinol, so I might not use that. There's a vitamin C powder. No, not powder. There's a vitamin C lotion, right? Yep. There's a vitamin C serum. There's a squalane face oil. So there's some other things. There's a rose hip face oil. I have yet to try and I will definitely, yeah, the retinol face serum is really highly rated. So I'm going to see. Um, the peptide face serum and the glycolic acid toner are ones I'm just going to skip. Uh, so anyway, but there you go. That's my the Inky List review for you. I like it. I'm going to list it below where you can find it on Sephora. And that's everything. So yeah, so let me know if any of that confused you. I kind of did a little copy and paste from websites. So um, I was reading descriptions, but I was also reading reviews from Beautypedia. So I'm not necessarily a dermatologist or a doctor or a physicist. So I don't know these things offhand in my brain. I have to look them up. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are subscribed to my channel. Please do so. Please do so. Please subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up. What else? What else? I think that's everything. Leave me a comment if you'd like and I will see you next time. Bye.